Nevins have opened up here in Lausanne and on the French team's fortunes. They won 4-2 in the end. Uh, score language to an extent would flatter them. Like Croatia were not that bad. It's just, okay, the, the own goal was a bit, a bit unlucky for them. And they had a penalty, which I didn't actually, I didn't actually see the replay, so I don't know what happened, but it went to VAR, so we must have checked it out. And um, yeah, it's crazy scenes here. Like Lausanne's pretty close to uh, France, and there's a lot of French support here. And they went absolutely nuts. But man, the biggest highlight of the game for me was Pogba. Like that goal, he deserved it after everything, all the criticism he's faced. A few moments later. Okay, a uh, little bit better weather now. I can probably do this. So, I don't know what I said before, but I'm going to sum it up. What a game. 4-2, very high scoring game in the World Cup Final. The first time since 1990 that so many goals have been scored. Uh, didn't really expect it. I mean, Fran I, France is a generally very defensive team, and that's what I was expecting going to this game. And Croatia have been fairly competent at the back. They usually trade at some point in the game but I didn't expect them to concede four goals. Uh, but overall it was a pretty good game. Like, uh, Croatia had most of the possession, which you would expect. Deschamps held back a little bit, uh, played on the counter-attack. Whereas Croatia had more of the possession. They put in a lot more crosses into the box. Uh, most of them were headed away. Varane was pretty immense. Uh, Umtiti also had a good game. And they kept control of the back. Uh, they led in the two goals. Unfortunately, I missed the first one, so I'm not really sure what happened there. But for the second goal, um, yeah, that was just that was just silly by Lloris. I mean, we're seeing more of these errors these days. Like maybe it's the pressure of the World Cup final. Carrius, not a, a couple months back, he did the same thing. So I don't know. But overall, it's pretty good. Uh, two goals did flatter Croatia a bit. They had a, lo a lot more shots than France, but most of them were off target. So it didn't really trouble the keeper or didn't look threatening at all. Uh, France, on the other hand, four goals also flattered them to an extent. If that somehow. Um, they played on the counter, they were clinical, uh, not a lot of shots, I, I think they only had four shots on target or something, and all four were goals, uh, so that's excellent. Uh, man of the match, Paul Pogba, ran the show, ran the show, man. Uh, against the best midfield in the competition, Modric, Brozovic and Rakitic, it was Pogba who shone, and he's really, sh he's really stood up in this tournament and made a mark, uh, and his goal was excellently taken. I, w I was really excited when that happened. I was supporting France, but I was mostly supporting France because of Pogba, so that was amazing. Um, yeah, Croatia, Croatia should be proud of themselves though, I mean, they showed a lot of heart and they really did well in this World Cup and they deserve all the success they've had, uh, but the French team was just a bit too good for them, I feel, this time. And um, yeah, it was, it was a good game of football. I, I watched it in Ushi, which is the main viewing area here in Lausanne. and. Being so close to the French border naturally was filled with a lot of French supporters. There were quite a few Croatians as well, but uh, definitely uh, the majority was French support. And the place went nuts. Like, it was, it was crazy. Like, I've never seen such a fervor during a football match. And it, it was amazing being there, like just being a part of this. Um, for many people, winning a World Cup is a once in a lifetime thing. Um, unless you're German, Italian or Brazilian and um, for the fans it must have been like it's a special day and uh, they they partied as though they knew it and um, yeah good on them um, it's kind of funny though like uh, I missed the part of the first half because it was supposed to rain and so I thought I'd go a bit I'd like see the weather and then go and during the entire game it didn't rain at all well I mean it rained gold but uh, the actual rain, it started like, it was, it was on cue, it was like the final whistle went and in came the thunderstorm and it was just perfect for the party atmosphere, like no one cared, like it's like, it's like a waterfall party, you know, and it was, it was awesome, it was awesome being there. Um, what's, what's in the future? I mean, Bappe got the young player of the year, totally deserved, 
I'm not the biggest fan of him since he moved to PSG, but uh, he showed his class in this World Cup, and so totally well deserved. Modric golden ball again deserved, but I kind of funny. It's kind of funny. Like in all the last World Cups, the the winner of the golden ball has been on the losing side in the final. I think it's been going on since 2002 or something, and it's it's crazy. Uh, maybe even before that, I think Ronaldo was the guy who got in '98. Crazy, crazy stuff. But um, overall, uh, it was a great end to what has been one of the best World Cups in memory. I have not enjoyed a World Cup more than this one since I started watching them. I guess 2002. Um, but yeah, it was really, really good. And but yeah, it was really, really good, and it was a the perfect way to end the World Cup. And uh, yeah. I am really happy with the result. I'm really, really happy with the result, and uh, and uh, yeah, it's uh, it's been great. Uh, I'll probably be doing a few more reviews in the coming season for Man United, uh, for Manchester United, and um, yeah, I will see you then. Uh, have a good summer, and if you see this after the summer, have a good whatever time of the year that is.